The WNBA game schedule, WNBA game results, and WNBA team standings is presented by Orient Sports PH. Here are the WNBA game results, July 11, 2024. The matchup between the number two seed Connecticut Sun and the number one seed New York Liberty. First quarter, Connecticut Sun scored 19 points and New York Liberty scored 29 points. New York Liberty outscored the Connecticut Sun and closed the first period with a 10-point lead. Second quarter, New York Liberty scored 19 points and Connecticut Sun scored 22 points. Connecticut Sun managed to cut the lead to one point, 39 to 38, to end the first half. Third quarter, Connecticut Sun scored 16 points and New York Liberty scored 20 points. New York Liberty managed to stretch the lead to 5.59 to 54 to close the third period. Oh, they are tenacious on the old glass. Connecticut now has five of those. Harris delivers from three, her first today. Donescu, first three-point bid is good. Sabrina Ionescu up to 17 points. Seven to fire. Here's a double. Burke comes to help out. Three to shoot. Thomas banks it home. Her first points of this ballgame. Fourth quarter, New York Liberty scored 12 points, and Connecticut Sun scored 14 points. Connecticut Sun managed to trim the five point lead to three point, but not enough to win the game. Backs down, spins, Stewart again! Brianna Stewart with another block in crunch time! Nine seconds, the Sun will foul. They'll take this down. Ionescu with four to shoot. Ionescu creates separation. She makes it! Led by Sabrina Ionescu's 21 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists, the New York Liberty defeated the Connecticut Sun, 71-68. to The New York Liberty improved to 18-4, while the Connecticut Sun fall to 17-5. The matchup between the number 8 seed Chicago Sky and the number 9 seed Atlanta Dream. First quarter, Chicago Sky scored 18 points, and Atlanta Dream scored 22 points. Atlanta Dream managed to gain a four-point lead to close the first period. Second quarter, Atlanta Dream scored 12 points, and Chicago Sky scored 20 points. Chicago Sky outscored the Atlanta Dream and managed to gain a four-point lead, 38 to 34, to end the first half. A burst into the front court and two more in the blink of an eye, and the Sky are up three on an extended run. Cardoso will whip it out. Love the ball movement over the last couple of games for the Sky. Can it turn into a three? It does. Third quarter, Chicago Sky scored 16 points and Atlanta Dream scored 20 points. Atlanta Dream managed to tie the game, 54-54, to close the third period. 
fourth quarter, Atlanta Dream scored 15 points and Chicago Sky scored 24 points. Chicago Sky outscored the Atlanta Dream and managed to gain a nine-point lead to close the fourth period. Busy Harrison coming off the season high, 11 points in her last game. Got the sky lead back up to three. There is a three-point attempt that knocks it right back up at 65 from Destiny Henderson. Caldwell lost it to Dana Evans. Outlet to Mabry. Easiest two that Mabry has had all afternoon. Then they got a foul as well. So an and one opportunity coming up. Angel Reese back in the game and back to work into the paint. Couldn't finish, it's Bell Harrison there to clean things up. Sky lead. A gutsy performance from the Dream today on the road. Kind of reeling right now with injuries, but have been in this one all the way. Nice backdoor cut and a finish there from Alicia Gray. Under a minute to go in the fourth, Kennedy Carter. This is who you want the ball with, with under a minute to go. And she catches in to give the Sky a three point lead. 32 seconds left. Atlanta doesn't have to foul here. They just need a defensive stop, but they won't get one because Angel Reese was wide open down low. Use their reset timeout so you can't huddle up, but he advances into the front court. In the final two minutes, the block from Mabry. It's going to be the game's ceiling block. And here is potentially the clutchest of double doubles to come if she can knock it down. Oh, there it is. WNBA record continues in Chicago. Led by Trinity Carter's 19 points, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists, the Chicago Sky defeated the Atlanta Dream 78-69. to The Chicago Sky improved to 9-12, while the Atlanta Dream fall to 7-14. The matchup between the number 7 seed Indiana Fever and the number 10 seed Washington Mystics. First quarter, Indiana Fever scored 17 points and Washington Mystics scored 26 points. Washington Mystics outscored the Indiana Fever and managed to gain a nine-point lead to close the first period. Clark trying to answer and does with a three. Well, that'll get you back in it quickly. You've got to be able to keep your player from getting to the paint. Mitchell on the attack, reverse, got it to go. And then there's the bucket getter for Indiana. Second quarter, Indiana Fever scored 20 points, Mitchell and Washington drive, Mystics scored team, 25 foul, points. Washington Mystics managed finish. to stretch and the lead to 8 points, 51 to 37, Mitchell to end the first back. half. Samuelson Clark inside for Smith. Smith into Edwards, draws the foul, got it to go. What a tough shot, and an and one coming for Smith. Every bit of this game from the opening moments after that 5-0 Indiana run. Melvin wide open, and her three ball falls in a fitting end to a brilliant offensive first half for the Mystics. Third quarter, Indiana Fever scored 18 points, and Washington Mystics scored 25 points. Washington Mystics managed to stretch the lead even further to 21 points, 76 to 55, to close the third period. Castle, Mitchell nearly took it away, and Van Lue has a three ball rattle in, and if that doesn't sum up today so far, I don't know what does. Samuelson will try it from the corner and connects. Fourth quarter, Washington Mystics scored 13 points, and Indiana Fever scored 29 points. Indiana Fever outscored the Washington Mystics and managed to cut the lead to five points, but not enough to win the game. Clark out for a whole three. She knocks it down. Three minutes left to play in this one, and the hill is steep. 12 points. Fever looking to a race. Here's Clark, catch and shoot. Hits a three! Led by Ariel Atkins' 26 points, three rebounds, and three assists, the Washington host. Mystics Off defeated the, the Indiana the Fever, 89-84. to and The Washington Mystics improved to 6-17, to while the Indiana Fever fall to 9-14. to the matchup Gregor, between the Asia number four Wilson seed Seattle Storm and the number five seed Seattle Las Vegas Aces. First quarter, Las Vegas Aces scored 13 points and Seattle Storm scored 17 points. Seattle Storm managed to close the first period with a four-point lead. 
money spot, though. Drew loves using that screen, getting to that high post area. Driving in strong as Plum. The corner, Gray three. Snuggles it home. Chelsea Gray, and now Noel Quinn wants to take a timeout. Second quarter, Las Vegas Aces scored 17 points, and Seattle Storm scored 19 points. Seattle Storm managed to stretch the lead to 6 points, 36 to 30, to end the first half. Third quarter, Seattle Storm scored 19 points, and Las Vegas Aces scored 30 points. Las Vegas Aces outscored the Seattle Storm and managed to regain the lead. Seattle Storm closed the third period with a five-point lead, 60 to 55. Fourth quarter, Seattle Storm scored 25 points, and Las Vegas Aces scored 25 points. Las Vegas Aces managed to maintain the five-point lead to close the fourth period. Jewel Lloyd off the glass. That's a good start. For one in steals and blocks, they've got to step up on this I've possession. Backdoor time. Oh, and they don't. Everybody oh, comes here, get brave. That was just a ridiculous <laughs> pass. What the hell's wrong with the Olympian? Led by Jackie Young's 27 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists, the Las Vegas Aces defeated the Seattle Storm 84 to 79. The Las Vegas Aces improved to 14 to 7, while the Seattle Storm fall to 14 to 8. The matchup between the number 6 seed Phoenix Mercury and the number 12 seed Dallas Wings. First quarter, Phoenix Mercury scored 21 points and Dallas Wings scored 29 points. Dallas Wings managed to close the first period with an 8 point lead. So the lead cut to four. Kalani Brown at the scorer's table, ready to join the wing scoring party. Our tough shots. Allen, nice move, doesn't get the bucket. And here come the wings. Arike pulls up and hits. Second quarter, Dallas Wings scored 17 points, and Phoenix Mercury scored 28 points. Phoenix Mercury it. outscored the Dallas Wings and managed to regain the lead. Phoenix Not Mercury covered, ended the first half with a three-point lead, 49 to 46. And a whistle blows. They Brown. It. Brown didn't like it. Phoenix with the ball and the lead. Shot clock is off. Copper surveying. Cop Copper won't be denied. She's got 18. She Third quarter, Dallas Wings scored 20 points and Phoenix Mercury scored 31 points. Phoenix, Phoenix Mercury managed to stretch the lead to 14 Odyssey points, Sin. 80 to 66, to close the third period. Fourth quarter, Dallas wow, Wings scored 18 points Copper. and Phoenix Mercury scored 20 points. Phoenix Mercury managed to stretch the lead even she further to 16 points to close the fourth period. Copper with oh, the nice shot cross off, getting low. Oh, the hoop and the harm. Phoenix had a season high of 104 points against Dallas a week ago. In the first two meetings between the teams, <laughs> I'll have whatever Odyssey Sims is at. Five I mean, and five for Come threes. on now. Griner short, battle for the rebound, won by Billings. Yeah, Cloud with five, five assists, and then three other players with four. Agumba Wale, wow. Led by Kalia Copper's 32 Arike. points, five and rebounds, and four assists, the Phoenix Mercury defeated the and Dallas the Wings, 100 to 84. The, the Phoenix win. Mercury improved to 12 to 10, while the Dallas Wings fall to 5 to 18. Here is the WNBA team standings through July 11 games. Here is the WNBA playoff standing scenario through July 11 games.
WNBA game scheduled on Friday, July 12, Philippine time. At 7 a.m., the matchup between New York Liberty and Chicago Sky. The game will take place in New York. For more WNBA updates, like and subscribe, or else I will break your backboard.